visiting Sacramento Kings. At small forward, Harrison Barnes. At the other forward position, Keegan Morris. At shooting guard, Tempest Herbert. At the other guard position, the Aaron Fox. The head coach of the visiting team is Mike Brown. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Here's a look at what's coming up now for the Sacramento Kings. On Wednesday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. Then on Friday, they'll be taking on Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Herder and Barnes are your wingmen. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. And it's Fox in at the point guard position. And for Phoenix... The big three for the Suns, all on the four. Booker and Beal as the guards, and KD at the four. Then there's Eaton, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward position. Hey, Brent, what an exciting day we have for us here. Day one of the regular season is upon us, and we are ready to go. Kevin, really stoked to be with you here tonight. You could not ask for a better matchup. He is palpable, and it's fair to expect both of these teams are going to bring it. Pass to Sabonis. Pass to Murray. Now here's Herter. Six on the shot clock. Sabonis is screen on Beal. Herter passes to Sabonis. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Sabonis just rolling right into that perfect pocket position off the pick and roll. The pass to Okogi. The dish to Aiton, and the basket is good. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. This, of course, their first time matched up with the Suns. And we saw how competitive and entertaining the season series was between these two terrific teams last year. Yeah, people who saw this game got their money's worth, and it was fitting that they split the season series, given the enormous talent level on both sides. Two on the clock. Rebound by the Suns. Last season GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, training for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. And it just doesn't seem to matter who Fox is on the floor, Brett. He's got the confidence to make shots. 
Hey, Greg, I feel like last year he took a huge step in terms of the confidence that he has to impact the game. Now it's about can he pick his spots, making sure that guys are involved. That's the next evolution of De'Aaron Fox. And the first one drops. Hey, even De'Aaron Fox has talked about how he's the fastest player in the league. The cool thing about it is night after night he seems to prove it. Both good from the line that time. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. And they repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03, something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. Now, here's Fox. Kicks to Murray. Passes it to Sabonis. Back to Murray. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Fox against Aiton. Three-pointer. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Fox. Sabonis has got five points so far. Well, that's a bonus right there to have DeMontes step out and shoot the three and stretch out the defense. Dayton sets the pick for Booker. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitor. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now, here's Sabonis. He has five. Herder, no good. Beal gets a wide open look. Another three for Phoenix. This has come in this league as a natural score. Bradley Beal can find it from anywhere, this time in the corner. Herder kicks to Sabonis. Barnes outside, pass to Herder. Here's Sabonis. Over eight. Sabonis, no good. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for the Suns. From deep. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Doesn't go that time. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Eight in the screen. Here's a Kobe. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Keegan Murray. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. It's his first trip to the line. And he can't get the first one. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost, this team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. And the second free throw, good. So, Brent, after a 16-year playoff drought, the Kings made the cut before losing a very gritty first-round matchup. What an unbelievable series, Kevin, that was against the Golden State Warriors. We've taken them to seven. Ultimately, they came up short, but they've got a ton to be excited about moving forward. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play. It's good. Booker's got five minutes. Devin Booker lethal on the pull-up jump shot. Loves going to this shot when the D is not paying any attention. Now, here's Monk. Sabonis, the best of Monk. Murray surveying the D. Five on the clock. Sabonis is screen on Gordon. Outside for Murray. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. And here's Phoenix. Nine points in a row. Good run for him right now. Pass to Durant. Booker against Monk. 
Shots good by Booker. He has seven. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. So for the Suns, full bowl. He's checked in for eight. Kata Bates Diop comes in for Kevin Durant. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Josh Akogi. And then for Sacramento, Miles checked in for Keegan Murray. Chris Duarte comes in for Harrison Barnes. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for Kevin Herter. Uh, 101 left in the first. Mitchell outside. Will it go? And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Bradley Beal picks one up. Well, Greg, the Suns going all in with the new big three. Beal, Booker, and Durant. <laughs> That's a lot of firepower. And they didn't hesitate to bring Beal into the mix. The shooting that they all provide is second to none. On paper, they are as talented as anyone. That free throw missing. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State. Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. Lee's checked in for Devin Booker. McGee, he's checked in for the Kings. De'Aaron Fox comes in for Duarte. Now here's Lee. Outside, Beal shoots over Fox. That's good from Beal on the assist by Lee. Beal's got five now. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Suns lead by five. Here's Gordon. Hasn't made one yet. Bangs home the trifecta. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Beal against Fox. McGee a screen. The three. And Fox is good for three. He's got five. Well, I love the fire right here that Fox is playing with. You sink three, he's looking to come back and get you. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. The Suns on top as they end the first quarter with a massive 16-6 run. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this.
And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Phoenix? Uh, they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. On the court for the Kings as the second quarter gets underway. Backcourt pair is Fox and Monk. Miles out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Duarte in at the three spot. Talk about guys, Brandon, who can fill those gaps out on the floor. How about Trey Lyle? Trey just getting more and more comfortable at carving out that reliable role player. Not only is this guy smart, he's also fearless. He'll throw himself into the game. More and more improved floor awareness for De'Aaron Fox. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Achilles injuries used to be career-ending. Kevin Durant says Dominique Wilkins was one of the first guys who came back the same. It was a motivation and gave me confidence that I could do the same. And now Wilkins says KD has really taken hold of this and become the spokesperson for this injury. So we're passing the torch. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, passing the torch, David. Thank you so much. Finding more and more ways as De'Aaron Fox to score the basketball that time gets contested. For Sacramento, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. And the Suns making a change here. A Kogi's checked in. is an advantage in basketball, but Greg, the versatility is such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. They swipe it. Here's Bates Diop. Rips down the breakaway slam. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Lyles a screen on Beal. Fox kicks to Lyles. Back to Fox. There's the pass to Monk. Like at six. McGee sets the pick for Monk. Offensive rebound. That's in, and the Suns lead is cut to just one point on the basket from McGee. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Puts it up from 15. Good. Beal's got nine. Now Beal can make those kind of shots that time mid-range. Fox looking it over. McGee sets the pick for Fox. Down low, and the slam dunk by McGee can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. So Brent, thinking back to the 2020 bubble, the Suns went 8-0. Clearly the springboard for that group. Yeah, amazing, Kevin. The team had missed 10 straight playoffs, and a lot of talk was made that that time in the bubble helped them to come together in ways that next season they weren't going to be denied. And they made the finals in 2021, and the franchise won 64 games in 2022. So the Suns are as bright as ever. Fox passes Duarte. To the inside, here's McGee. And Ball sends it back. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Here's a Kogi. Rebounded by McGee. The Kings trail by three. Passes it to Monk. And here is Wyatt. McGee, the pass to Orte. Second shot opportunity. And Ball sends it back. Pass to a Kogi. Puts up a three. And 
they recover it. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor, and they give them a good open look from the perimeter. Timeout called by the Kings. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Bull. Kevin Durant comes in for Lee. And it's Devin Booker in for Beal. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Sabonis, he's checked in for McGee. Keegan Murray comes in for Lyles. Barnes, he's checked in for Duarte. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Fox. The Kings trail by five. Monk with the ball. Still scoreless. Sabonis inside. Eubanks defending. Sabonis with the bucket. The defense had the right idea, just the wrong execution. Sabonis, too powerful to be cut off. Brent, many noteworthy second-generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position. But DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Swiped it away. Here's the drive. A Kogi, the pass to book. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. 112 left to play in the first half. Outside, Zabonis. He dishes at the Barnes. Back to Zabonis. Just five on the clock. Barnes down low. Working on Booker. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Barnes. Pass to a Kogi. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. And really, the line a season ago was just a battle for him. Just about a 72% free throw shooter. The first free throw is good. Aiton, he's checked in for Phoenix. Adley Beal comes in for Kata Bates-Dion. The Kings also at the sub. Davion Mitchell's checked in for Malik Monk. That one falls, so he hits both of them. So for Sacramento, their last game, a loss to the Utah Jams. Sabonis' is screen on Booker. Mitchell kicks to Herter. To the middle. Six to shoot. Sabonis sets the pick for Herter. 
and Jen shot. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Sabonis. Yeah, Sabonis just cleaning the board, taking care of business. That's just too easy if you're the defense. Here's a Kogi. Beat the quad. Count it. He caught it. That's how you do it. Stay patient, wait for the opportunity, and boom. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. And so it's Phoenix with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Frank Vogel. Coach, the point's coming with regularity in that first half. What's been the key? We're playing with a high offensive motor. We're screening through physicality. We're cutting hard. We're moving the basketball. We're getting this shot for And it's showing on the floor, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Welcome. All right, guys, let's break it down. It has not been the ideal start for the Sacramento Kings. Unsurprisingly, I love their approach, beating those boys up inside. That's where you get the best looks. You can draw fouls sometimes. It ain't rocket science. And if it were rocket science, we'd all be out of jobs. All right, fellas, let's take a quick look at two key players from that first set. When you're facing a great player, it's all about taking that challenge. So bring out the best in you. Iron sharpens iron. Cream rises to the top. Sticks and stones. All that good stuff. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. It's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. The big three for the Suns all on the floor. Booker and Beal as the guards, and KD at the four. Then there's Eaton, and it's a Kogi in at the small four. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Inside. Eaton against the bonus, and Eaton throws it down. Yeah, if Aiton can get in that kind of position, he can be a bully on the inside. And so here's Sacramento. Eight-point game. 
And Brent, we know one guy who would have been valuable in any era, DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, with that size, you've got that old school drawback to the post physical center uh, type of physique, but he works mostly on the block and doesn't create a lot down there. Each year he's trying to add a little bit more to his repertoire. And this shows you what a superstar KD is. I mean, the NBA world stopped when that deal was made. Yeah, you just shift the axis of the league. Look, you have this elite scorer, this unbelievable all-world talent, and when he gets on a roster, I don't care where it is, all of a sudden you have championship aspirations. And he makes the first. One of the things you got to admire about Kevin Durant is his ability just to continue to focus on playing basketball. This guy is a true hooper. And so Durant nails them both. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. against Booker. Screen by Sabonis. Three-pointer, Fox. It's hauled in by the Suns. Ayton's got his fourth rebound in this one. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thank you, Kevin. After a fantastic first season under Coach Mike Brown, the Kings are ready for bigger and better things in year two. Brown said, this is probably the first opportunity I've had that allows me to do what I feel was necessary to get the team headed in the right direction. There wasn't going to be much pushback because they were looking for somebody to give them guidance and direction. He certainly embraced that responsibility, Kevin. I like that. Yeah, he has embraced it. Good stuff, David, and thank you for the report. And it's in there. Booker's got 11 points. When most fans think of Devin Booker, they think of the range, but man, he's attacking right now to get to the line. Herder passes to Fox. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Shot clock at six. Nobody near Barnes. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got assist number five here tonight. Fox against Booker. He kicks it to Durant. The pass to Okogi. There's the triple. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got six rebounds here tonight. Herter on the wing. Back to Fox. Passes it to Murray. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And here are the numbers for De'Aaron Fox. Last season, he played outstanding. Averaged about 25 points per game. Six assists and four rebounds. And guys, he can just explode for points anytime he steps on the court. Well, he looks to score, and he looks to score often. And Booker kicks to Beal. Right around three minutes into the second half. Pass to Okogi. Booker looking around. Eaton a screen on Fox. For three, Booker connects from three-point range. He's got 14. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Fox against Booker. No one near Herder as he lets it fly. And another three for Sacramento. The defense a step slow. You can see the result. Booker the pass to Beal. Fox against Booker. Ayton in the high post. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Sabonis. Lots of times you don't mind fouling a big, but Ayton's a solid foul shooter. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First one at the line is good. Well, Aiden and efficiency go hand in hand. I mean, this guy's field goal percentage is on cloud nine. 
Arcata Bates Diop checked in for Phoenix. And a change for Sacramento. Monks checked in for Harrison Barnes. Aiton hits from both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Fox against Beal. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down to six and the bucket from Fox. Becoming more confident and a little bit more poised in terms of how he scores is De'Aaron Fox. Herder against Booker. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. And you talk about explosive scoring. Wow, Devin Booker Brent, one of the most explosive players of all time. So awesome to watch him when he gets rolling, Kevin, and that can happen in like three seconds. Uh, he's got such a great flow and control of what he can do offensively. And Booker gets to Aiton. Durant in the corner. A floater. Sacramento grabs the miss. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Herter, that's a two-pointer. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got assist number eight here in this one already. Pass to Aiton. Here's Bates Diop. Another three for Phoenix. That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. Pass to Herter. Here's Fox. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. He's shooting free throws, number four and five here. Good Fox. So for the Suns, Bowl. He's checked in for DeAndre. Gordon comes in for Kevin Durant. And Lee's up in for Devin Booker. Sacramento also making some changes. Trey Wiles checked in for Murray. And Chris Duarte subbed in for Kevin Herter. Fox hits them both. They time it right, they can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want to end the quarter. Here's Beal, and easy two points on the layup. Beal's got 13. Just such a polished scorer, Bradley Beal getting to the interior. At the top of the key, he's Sabonis. Pass to Orte. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Kings have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. First free throw is good. A Kogi's checked in for Damian Lee. both of the shots and even though they're down they are putting on a show at the free throw line Gordon deciding where to go with it pass to Bates Dion to the paint here's Bull and the duck by Bull that's just too easy for Bull once he gets the right position his focus there is on the finish Three-pointer, Fox. It doesn't go for him. And so it's the Phoenix Suns bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. 
We've got more in store for you right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter on the court for Sacramento. That court there is Fox and Monk. He out there with Trey Lyons. And it's Duarte in at the three, the small forward. Here's a Kogi. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Phoenix. As soon as you turn it over on them, they're off to the races. They have been absolutely relentless in the open floor. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle, the hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And he knocks down the first one. He doesn't get the second one. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Marte passes to Fox. It's good. Tough matchup here, and Fox has it going right now. The lefty getting some room and making it happen. The drive by Booker shoots over Fox. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. McGee finds Fox. And it's Fox with a jam. How about Fox getting up on the inside? Love to see the point guard rise up. On Spanish Gordon. Here's Bates Diop, covered by Lyons. Pass to Gordon. Bowl setting the pick for Gordon. Three pointers off the mark. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. And the pass to Lyons. This one for three. It's hauled in by Gordon. Suns lean by six. Now here's Booker. There he goes again. That's his ninth straight basket. He's a perfect nine for nine. And Booker just keeps taking him. He's a scoring machine. McGee is screen on Booker. Fox passes to McGee. Over Bull again, Sacramento. Now catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. Gordon against Monk. Gordon kicks the ball. Hands it from downtown. And the big fella knows how to score the basketball. Bowles understanding of when to look for his, his next level. Now a timeout called by Sacramento.
for the Suns. Andre Ayton's checked in for Bull Bull. Kevin Durant comes in for Kata Bates Dion. And Beal subbed in for Eric Gordon. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Sabonis, he's checked in for McGee. Keegan Murray comes in for Trey Lyles. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Duarte. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Malik Monk. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys, Mike Brown had some advice for the team during the break. Told us, guys, I need you all to come together right now on both ends. This game is not over. You need to go out there and take control now. See how it looks coming out of the timeout, guys. Thank you, David. Sabonis, high post. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Back from outside. Again, the miss by the Kings. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. A Kogi misses. The Kings trail by nine. Herder passes to Fox. Back to Herder. Sabonis sets the pick for Herder. Inside, and stolen by Eaton. Fox against Booker. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Fox against Booker. Now, here's Fox. Not a lot of room. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Devin Booker. Falls for. He makes one of two that time. Durant with it. Now guarded by Murray. And stolen by Murray. Shot left block, and with that shot, the Suns' lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Herder. Really, he's improving so much in his decision-making and delivering passes. Here's Beal, lays it up off the glass. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Fox against Booker. Outside, Fox. Sabonis in slam dunk by Sabonis. Fox does a great job of sizing up the defense and then finding a hole so good at getting in there. Steps back. And Booker hits to Durant. On the wing, Booker. Headed by Fox. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Fox passes to Murray. Now here's Herder. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Herder's got five points in the quarter. That's a crucial basket, and Herder big time. Booker against Fox. Fires from the line, and he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Mid-range, plenty of room time for that out, release. Out. He's going to take those all day long. Timeout called by the Kings. They're down by seven. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Herter kicks to Fox. Beyond the arc. The offensive rebound. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on eight. The defense is always going to have trouble with Sabonis inside. He just forces mistakes. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that turns the lead to six. Sabonis is a guy you have to watch closely in terms of how relentless he is. Trying to get in there, mix it up, play physical. He just never stops fighting. And Sabonis drops them both. Boy, did they need those three throws to go down. They're definitely within striking distance. So they foul intentionally. <laughs> 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Booker dishes to Aiton. Good defense right there. Barnes taking pride in shutting down that possession. Here's Fox with the drive. It's good. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Uh, De'Aaron Fox stepping up for the team, showing he's capable in these moments. And that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So huge. I mean, Bradley Beal produces, but, man, this is especially true when the game is on the line. They have confidence in him here. And so Fox will bring it up for the Kings. Over Booker. Fox, no good. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. You know, you think about it. In 2015, a dozen teams passed on Devin Booker. Got to be tough for those front offices to watch him play this way. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Well, that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. Timeout called by the Kings. They're trailing by six. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? It's still a sliver of hope. You act fast, but without mistakes.
time. Buries it from outside. And he's just living out beyond the arc right now. What a weapon to have on the floor. Seems to be taking it on his shoulders aggressively to shrink this lead. They really needed those points. them both. It's a five-point game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Fox passes to Murray. Back to Fox. Takes a three. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Fox making a very quick decision on that play. Don't keep the ball moving. The jumper's there. He took it. Timeout called. The Suns, they're up by two. One second left to play here in the fourth. they can with the intentional foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. I don't know if fouling Booker is ever a good idea. I mean, he is a great free throw shooter, and he's made for these moments. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And so it's Phoenix who scraped by with the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. KD, a statement win. How satisfying is it for you? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, we came out and played hard. Uh, the guys played together. And this is all I expected, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we was able to get the win tonight. We're looking forward to the next game. We're looking forward to seeing you out there again, man. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Much appreciated, David. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Devin Booker.